Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Versus uh, the Lucian, which is not going to be the greatest of times for the set. So we'll see, uh, you know, unless it is going to be Viego mid lane, they could also do something like that if they would like to. But uh, Genji to the river, though, is now Showmaker's going to move on over. It's going to be a 4v4. Possible teleports on the top side of the map. I think Bronn is so good in his early fights. Got to be yeah, careful. Uh, teleport is going to be channeled from Rascal. Flashes out from Damwon Kia. They want to allow Khan to get ahead as there's the Zenith Blade. Oh no, BDD out of position, gets lit on fire. The rest of Genji trying to get on over here. BDD will be taken down. And the first blood goes over to Showmaker as well. As the mists go down, Khan finishes his teleport also, trying to go invisible yet again as he flashes away. He's burning down with the red buff, but the potion is going to cancel it out. Flash forward from Rascal, but doesn't find anything. And now Clid uh, at 100 health. Beryl chasing behind him. Ghost picks it up with a fourth bullet. As BDD's teleported back in to go again. This is just ridiculous. A double kill for Ghost. And dumb one, Kia, this is exactly what they wanted. It's just honestly a really big miss execution. Yeah, from, well, uh, from Genji. Khan might be in trouble. Teleports come forward from Showmaker as Khan is going to go back to him now. Okay, face break is going to be available as Showmaker looks for it under Rascal, doesn't quite get there as BDD. He's roamed up. Canyon's here as well. Haymaker comes out. Showmaker, remember, does not have the flash as Khan. He's going to be taken down. Noble sacrifice here from the top laner of Damwon Kia. Might be in trouble yet again. Clid gonna go over and look for some Krugs as the fear comes out. And Rascal is putting on a lot of pressure. As, oh dear, there's the equalizer onto Canyon. Paranoia comes down as well. It's a really, really dead Diana. The punishment, just beautiful from Genji. Genji reading the map state so well. And this is, again, this is the payoff from having BDD have Bryo, because you know yeah. why they knew that Canyon was there, because of the ward. And look at all spotted. the vision. Look at all the vision that Damon Kia had. Yeah. And Clear just walks past all of it. Oh, and now they're looking to try and dive Khan as well, as he is going to get feared. But Rascal's going to take a lot of damage. Yep, that's going to be the trade. Goodbye, double buffs into the nether. We will not see them again. Immune that, get the reset, and then they both die, so... It's possible. Yeah, it's very close to a, uh... Yeah, just a two for nothing for Khan, but... He's thankfully. been able to very nicely sneak away some objectives, Rascal. Yeah, gets on over. There's Ingo's Canyon, actually. Showmaker's gonna move on through. Good fear back, as there is the Flash Showstopper, and Rascal is mega dead. He does have Flash, but he's not going to use it. Bait. Intelligently. With Dom and Kia, they want to play forward, they want to engage, right? You have to set the Diana, the Leona, but then said, Do you want to play a little slower? And the Braum should help with that. <laughs> okay, Clip just scrap shields his way forward. Now the equalizer comes out beautifully positioned. Lay it on top is the Glacial Fissure, but doesn't find too much joy as the culling also goes a little bit awry. But Dom and Kia just yeah, they leashed the Drake for Clip to go and take, and that's actually going to be pretty important as it is the infernal soul. Oh, the communication between Ruler and Clid, they're absolutely beautiful. Because Ruler primes it, right? Like he charges up, holds that arrow, and Clid's like, wait, yep. wait, and then he goes in and uh, finds it. And as you said, at the very least, it will buy you a lot of time. And uh, in the best case scenario, it just gets you a lot of plays being set up here. Oh yeah, Clid. Counter gang positioning doesn't have the equalizer, but the Flamesmith is still going to do a whole bunch of work. Teleport's coming down, as that's going to be the first reset here for Khan. Can he actually make it work, though, as there's the Blast Cone, courtesy of the Infernal Rift, as Khan's going to dive on top of BDD. A lot of damage down here, as Ghost was looking to try and trade back, but Ruler turns up in the nick of time. Okay, Curtain Call comes down. Finds Clint with a couple of these bullets. It's the last one, pretty close to BDD, but he was out of range. The Showmaker's on the top side of the map, minding his own business. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the characters that love fighting, Set is in there. He's just yeah. in the side lane. He's just autoing turrets and yeah, with the, with the passive, he is going to get through those very, very quickly. Nicely done. Enough damage done before the fight starts. Well, might be starting off now as Beryl. Let's now on cooldown. It's Khan in the mist. As there's the culling. Doesn't find anyone. Just a few shots onto Beryl at the end there. The Drake's still at about half health. Gets angry at Gen G. They do group back up again. Khan looking for a potential flank. The piercing arrow is not exactly doing a whole lot there to Showmaker as the dragon is going to reset. Picked up again by Ghost and Canyon. 
Can't just stand around here for too much longer. There's the Equalizer. In they go. Solar Flare is good. Stopwatches have been employed as it's somehow the set that takes the Dragon. Darmok here in the back of this pit. Showstopper comes in as the Varus just doing so much damage in the back line. Eventually, he is taken down as Showmaker and Khan make their way out. Oh, man. Okay, so... Advantage goes over to Darmok here when it doesn't it do that much yet. Was also not on the Ooh. next side. And it's it gets stunned up as Ghost trying to make up for the situation. Flash out, but not going to be enough. Paranoia comes through, and oh my goodness, the stopwatch denies so much right there. Incredibly high value as Khan looks to fall available, but Showstopper is going to be there. Rascal, no paranoia. Also, so this Baron just goes for free. And yeah, clear. Okay. I mean, he had the equalizer, but he wasn't there to use it. No culling. I'm on here now with the Baron. I'm gonna try and siege this mid lane. Here we go on the flank. Puts down some mist. Genji immediately move out of the way. Clear now has his Zonyas. But this is rough. Damon here in a pretty good spot. Chronicler. And speaking of which. Showmaker finds himself the uh, base breaker. Good Zonyas from Clid, but I think he's not out of the woods just yet. There's the big punch. And Beryl looking to try and limp out of this one as well. Khan is huge in that back line as Showmaker flashes forward and dies. It's not exactly optimal as Heartbreaker gets Khan into the back line. My god, the Viego does so much work. That curtain call is going to work, but he has to actually hit some bullets. Doesn't manage to do so as Khan picks up one reset. Canyon will look for Rascal and has the help of his team. Yep, that's a very dead Nocturne. Now Ruler trying to run away from Khan. The flash forward as the ulti comes down and Ruler, yep, decides to hit him with his Prowler's Claw. That's going to kill him, unfortunately. And uh, now Khan is just running away with this game. He's an absolute monster. Wow. I am so impressed with what Dumbo Kia is showing me because this is a team that has got two kills in the first five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's actually not playing too badly outside of oh, one no. curtain call he, he that was just, a big problem. He just shouldn't die, right? Like, that's all he needs to do, and he only died once this game. So as long as he's doing that on the gin, yeah. providing supportive fire, it's fine. In goes Beryl. BDD's going to have to flash away immediately. Good Glacial Fissure as Beryl uses the best item. Now the Paranoia comes in, but they're not going to be able to save their Leona. Rascal, this might be overly optimistic as Fly gets in there as well. Ghost in the back line doing a bunch of work right here for BDD as well. Getting some things done, but now the reset's come forward. Khan is just massive. He's got a big old door that he's holding as well and having a good time doing so. And now this curtain call looks so much better. That shield bow ain't shielding nothing. As Khan gets another reset, turns into a Lucian as well, and Ruler is all by himself. And I think that they're just going to lose the game as Canyon almost flashes over that piercing arrow, which was pretty cute. And I really like the Monk and W. Uh, Yumi as well as, yeah, Khan's uh, going to kill Ruler once again. Uh, oh! Oh! Ha, ha, oh! No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No. Yeah. Oh, the rewards are reaped for Domokia's amazing early game. Indeed. They found the skirmish that they needed, and they kept doing things. That's all we have to take away. The Nexus dies. Damon Kia going to take game one against Gen G. It is, of course, a best of three. Gen G have an opportunity.